In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite bunch passing concepts in Madden 21. I want to show you why it's effective. I'm going to give you two different setups that you can use. And I'm just really excited to talk about it with you today. So if you've never been to my channel before, my name is Cody. And what I do here on YouTube is I basically break down Madden 21 tips and tricks. I break down, try to give you tools that you can use tips and strategies to help you get better at Madden. So if you're interested in getting better at this game, go ahead ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Research has shown me that only 60% of you guys that are going to be watching this video have not subscribed yet. So go ahead, click the subscribe button out. It's completely free and it just allows you to know whenever we upload a new video. And I upload eight videos every single day on YouTube that again are designed to help you get better at the game. All right, guys, so I wanted to take a look at this play. It comes to us out of the New England Patriots playbook. Um, New England is probably one of my favorite offensive playbooks, if not my favorite offensive playbook in the entire game, um, just because it gives you a lot of different options and a lot of different opportunities um, within the formations. You get Y off trips patch, you get trips tied in, bunch. Um, you also get different spread formations, which I really, really like out of New England. So that being said, we're going to talk about a couple of plays in particular, the play spacing switch. The play, the play uh, Pat's, or not Pat's sale, I'm sorry, Pat's curl flat. And then also the play, um, the, the play uh, curls. But we're going to start the conversation today with Pat's curl flat. And I believe this is one of the best plays in the entire game. Now, we know that when people defend the gun bunch, one of the things that they're going to try to do is they're going to try to uh, basically take away the outside corner routes. So they might put their curl flats or their zones, their zone drops back to about 25 yards. So um, to show you defensively what I'm going to be doing here today, I'm going to be in um, the 46 playbook, which is my 335 wide defensive ebook, which I believe is the best defense in the entire game. So going to have some good coverage here that we're going to be able to go over. Really quick before I dive too far into the video, I do want to let you know that if you want to get my full um, gun bunch offense, that is a uh, video that I actually broke down in the text message membership, which you can get completely for free by texting me. My number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen. Okay, guys, so we're going to work out of this cover four drop um, and, and, and kind of share share a couple things with you. So uh, first and foremost, whenever you run gun bunch, you want to run your bunch to the wide side of the field as a general rule, especially with this play. Um, so if you're on the right hash, you would just want to flip the play um, so that you could be most effective. Now, there's a couple setups I really like out of this play right here. And again, most of the time you're going to get some type of cover three look uh, when you run against gun bunch anymore. Um, but basically all I'm going to do here is literally I'm just going to smart route Devontae Adams and that's and then I'm going to streak uh, the tight end. That's all I'm going to do. That's the only adjustments. And you're going to notice that this is a cover three killer. Um, this corner route on the outside will basically just run and run and run and run on the outside until he gets open, which is really, really nice. Now, again, uh, one of the things that, you know, one of the things that you'll learn as you run this is not all corner routes are created equal. So if you run a corner route from, um, let's say, just any old corner route, it's not going to get as open as this route to Devontae Adams is. This is a special corner route that allows you to basically pass lead it up against a lot of zone coverages. Now, that's kind of one little piece of that setup. But the other thing that I wanted to talk to you about is another thing that you could do is just not do anything, right? All you're literally going to do is just smart route Devontae Adams. That's all you're going to do. And you'll notice here that he actually does a decent job of getting open. But you see that the zone drop drops back to be able to cover him. The reason this is important is because this is why you run this play. So the corner route will basically run off these deep zones, and you can essentially low ball this curl route wide open underneath it. The flat route to the tight end pulls everything underneath with it as well. So let's say, for example, they're playing you and they're running cover three, and they run a Mabel coverage by putting that, that linebacker in the purple zone uh, and in the hard flat. If you see something like that, that's where, once again, this curl route, just let the zones clear out. And as you can see, that curl route is going to be wide open underneath the zone. One of my favorite setups in the entire game. Now, another setup that I really like, and it's very similar to this, is I literally just curl, or I, I just put the tight, the, um, I just put Devontae Adams on a hitch route. That's all I'm going to do. 
and you'll find that this is one of my favorite route combos in the entire game. It's so simple. There's nothing too crazy to it, but it does such a good job against any zone defense that you're going to face. These curl routes are absolutely, I mean, just amazing, amazing routes. Now, one of the things that I like to do is, let's say that I'm facing some type of cover two. In that scenario, one of the things that I will typically do is I will high point this route to Tavon Austin. Now, the high point works a lot better in game mode than it does in practice mode. But if you don't, if, if for whatever reason you don't want to high point it, just make sure that you pass lead it to the right side so that it doesn't have any chance of getting intercepted with the yellow zones coming down onto this ball. And they might say, well, how does this do? Uh, how does this do against like press man-to-man -man coverage? Because you might be someone that plays mutt, and you might face a lot of press man-to-man -man coverage. Well, what you'll notice here is that this route to Tavon Austin is always going to get inside leverage and inside position. And so, if you throw this with a pass lead, uh, with a pass lead to the inside, this is going to do a really, really good job. Now, again, you could also motion him out as well as keep him inside. But again, you see right there. Just low ball it, and as you can see, you're able to hit the route to Tavon Austin. So you have multiple reads on this play. Now, one other thing I wanted to go over with you really quickly here is this route combination on the left side from this play. One of the things that you'll notice is that because the running back is on a ghost route or a curl route, he doesn't do as good of a job of pulling the zones like he would if, if for example, that was a swing route or a wheel route. So because of that, that is actually going to actually play to your benefit because a lot of people play hard flats or different types of underneath zones on this left side. But what you'll notice is you see how if they play that underneath hard flat, that hard flat is going to sit on the running back and it's actually not going to go guard the curl route on the left side. This is also beneficial because if they run man coverage, if you call a play that has a stock curl route, meaning a curl route that was already on the play, meaning you didn't have to hot route him, that route is going to get a lot more separation in man coverage than if you don't have it stock. So you have really, really good plays and really, really good reads. Now, the beauty of this offense is, let's say that you were running the original setup where basically you just smart route Devontae Adams. You'll see that if you have uh, if you have a good route running receiver, you can throw that route to the corner, and then you can also hit that curl route underneath. So you have multiple options for multiple different defenses and multiple different styles um, of way they're going to cover you. But as you can see there, that route to Tavon Austin is just settling up and noosing against the man-to-man -man coverage, which is really, really good to see. So all in all, this uh, formation is super, super good. I think it's one of the best formations in the entire game. This route right here, obviously Bunch is one of the best, but the Bunch from New England, the New England Bunch is super, super underrated. And I actually have a full ebook on the New England Patriots offense. And one of the formations that we break down, we break down every formation in the New England playbook. Um, but one of the formations that we break down is this New England gun bunch because it's so effective and so simple um, that really anyone can run it, but but you'll get access to some of the best plays um, that I believe are out right now in Madden. Like this play right here, uh, Curl's Attack, is super, super underrated. You can motion out Tavon Austin and basically just snap throw him against zone coverage, which is really, really nice. There's a lot of things like that that you can do in New England that you can't do um, in your everyday uh, in your everyday average gun bunch because they just doesn't have the routes. This formation has the routes. It has the setups. You're going to be just blown away with how effective these curl routes are. Curl routes are so good against man, but when you can make or, or against zone, but when you can make them even just as good against man coverage, that's when everything starts to come together for your offense. So make sure to go ahead and pick up that New England offensive ebook. Link is in the description. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know if you have any questions. You can always text me. My number's in the description. And we'll be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So be sure to come by, hang out with us, ask us any Madden questions you want. We'll see you tonight on stream.